Hi, welcome to our tagine watch party. For those of you unfamiliar with the tagine or its history, Don has some great information he'd love to share with you. Tagines are remarkable. They've been around for thousands of years. They're part of a distant culinary past, but you know, that's kind of fun finding out what it is. It's got a cone on top. So when you cook meat, chicken, fish, pork, vegetables in here, the steam comes off the food. It's really a reduction of flavor. It collects in the cone, condenses, and then it goes back into the food. So the flavor is actually in the food and it depends on the aromatics that go in here now this is the only tagine in the world it has its own grater built right into the into the cazuela part of the tagine so you can grate garlic ginger fresh turmeric an apple a peach a mango so you develop some incredibly complex flavors and speaking of clay spain's clay is some of the best in the world it absorbs heat evenly, it releases it perfectly, and so even with high heat, you get a kind of a soft heat in here. And so it's all about the flavor complexity, and this really, really develops flavors in a very, very remarkable way. And Emily does all of the recipes, so she's, she's pretty cool. And we have five and five to show you tonight. Uh, everything from remarkable uh, dinner party ideas, home cooked meals for your families. And aside from the tagines, we're featuring all of our dinnerware tonight. Serving plates, bowls, parones. Oh, the paron. Well, in Spain, they will drink their wine from the paron. From here is a straight stream. I don't have any wine here. It's too early in the day, right? But you would normally do this. And you'll pour it into a glass as well. And it has a beautiful stream and it aerates the wine, holds about a bottle of wine. These are hand-blown glass made in Spain. Get one, absolutely. So sit tight. We've got five recipes in five minutes. This next tagine recipe is sure to impress. It is made with delectable lamb meat, sweet and savory components. You throw everything into the tagine hours before your guests arrive. Once they see that reveal, they are not only going to want this recipe, but they're going to want to know where to get their own tagine. Brown two pounds of cubed lamb. Add two cloves grated garlic one cup chopped onion, and a seasoning mixture, teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of turmeric, and half a teaspoon of saffron threads. Add one cup apricot and half a cup dried prunes. Top with a bouquet garni of thyme, cinnamon stick, and parsley. Cover and cook at 350 for an hour and 45 minutes. While the lamb cooks, heat three tablespoons of olive oil in a sartan. Add one cup of almonds and fry. Top the lamb with the fried almonds. Grate an onion, three cloves of garlic, and two inches of fresh ginger root in bottom of tagine. Saute in tagine until soft. Sprinkle with a pinch of saffron and one teaspoon of paprika. Add one can of whole peeled tomatoes and chopped parsley and cilantro. Add sliced fennel and cooked shrimp. Top with quartered fennel and one cup of water. Cover and roast at 350 for one hour. Serve over couscous and finish with chopped cilantro and parsley. So this is a chicken tagine recipe that awakens all of your taste buds. You've got a smoky spice rub on the chicken, sweetness from raisins, acidity from lemons, 
salty brine from olives and freshness from the herbs. You're gonna try this recipe once and want it over and over again. Make a dry rub of a quarter teaspoon of saffron, teaspoon of ground ginger, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. Marinate overnight. Brown chicken with chopped onion in a cazuela. Add one and a half cups pitted green olives and one sliced lemon. Half a cup of raisins. Cover and cook on the stovetop over medium heat for 35 to 40 minutes. Grate onion and ginger with olive oil in bottom of tagine. Saute until soft. Add four to five dried red chilies, one tablespoon dried rosemary, and four cinnamon sticks. Push mixture to one side of tagine and brown four chicken thighs. Add one cup dried apricots and one can of whole peeled tomatoes. Cover tagine and bake at 350 degrees for one hour. So next up is a vegetable stew. It's full of stick to your ribs ingredients. It fills you up. The best thing about it is the tagine does all the work. You get everything going, throw it into the oven, forget about it until it's done. It'll warm you from the inside out. Saute two chopped onions in olive oil. To the cazuela, Add one cubed sweet potato and one cubed russet potato. Sprinkle with this spice mixture. A tablespoon of harissa, a teaspoon of coriander, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of turmeric. Cook for five minutes. Add one can whole peeled tomatoes with six cups of chicken stock and one cup dried apricots. Cover and cook at 350 for one and a half hours. Then add one cup chickpeas and two tablespoons lemon juice. Thanks for joining us at our Tagine Watch Party. You might need one of these if you want to experience a meal with flavors that you have never ever experienced in your life. It is simple, it is elegant, they are remarkable. So go on our website, icspain.com. I'm full, we've been eating all day and I'm ready for a nap. <laughs>